everyone, Bill here from Project Manager. Today, I want to introduce the summary dashboards, including my summary, team summary, and portfolio summary. Each summary dashboard is designed to fit the needs of various project roles. So a team member who just wants to log in and knock out some assigned tasks will probably only need the My Summary dashboard, while someone in a PMO is going to get a lot of value out of the Portfolio Summary dashboard. These three summary dashboards are located in the Home section of the software. Let's start by looking at the My Summary dashboard. So let's pretend I'm a team member who just wants to log in and check out my tasks for the day. In the top left, I can see some key metrics regarding my task progress. And in the due today column in the bottom left, I can see those tasks that are due today or overdue. To update a task, I can simply open it and make any changes. You know what, that's only very high and I need to add one more to do. Analyze with Ted. I was able to make those changes without even leaving my dashboard. If I need to look ahead, for later in the week, I can just look at the do this week column and update those tasks there. I'm going to mark it as almost done. The project pulse column shows progress for any projects that I'm a part of, including whether or not I've completed any tasks assigned to me for that project, whether it's behind schedule or ahead of schedule, and how close it is to completion. The work stream column on the far right shows any comments I've been tagged in or any new comments on tasks I've created. This allows me to effectively collaborate with my team and stay on top of my notifications. Let's move over to the team summary dashboard. So if you're a manager in charge of resources or balancing your team's tasks, this dashboard is going to be a lifesaver. I can quickly see metrics for how my team's tasks are progressing in terms of task progress, workload distribution, and whether or not they're on schedule. If I want to see any tasks due today for, that's assigned to my team, I just go to the bottom left and I can check in on how it's progressing and reach out to any team members. I can see the number of tasks assigned to various team members in the team utilization column. The project pulse column is the same, as is the word stream. Now let's click over to the portfolio summary dashboard. Now here, I can see quickly how my portfolio is progressing in terms of time, cost, workload, progress, and more. In the top left, I can see how many projects are open or on hold or haven't been started yet. I can see how my project costs are pacing compared to the overall budget. And in the portfolio breakdown section, I can scroll through all of my projects and quickly see how they're faring compared to my initial project plans. If I need to make adjustments, I can just click on the project as if it were a task and make adjustments there. The team pulse column allows me to check out task distribution by team type and how many tasks are due today by team member. And the work stream column is constant because even executives need to collaborate sometimes. Well, I hope you can see from this video the power of these summary dashboards. Good luck managing your projects and thanks for checking out this video today.